So, good morning, good afternoon, good night, everyone. I am Rene from Montreal, and welcome on the behalf of the 2025 initiative to this silent meditation on the second ray. So we will begin with the noontime recollection. We know, O oh Lord of life and love, about the need. Touch our hearts anew with love, that we too may love and give. The role of the new group, <clears throat> the new group of world servers is to foster the evolution of the consciousness of humanity. They respond themselves to the rays, the forces of evolution of consciousness. The seven rays are the first differentiation of the divine triplicity of spirit, consciousness, and form. And they provide the entire field of expression for the manifested deity. The seven rays emanate from the central vortex of force. In our system, the seven rays originate from the seven stars of the great bear. They manifest through the rays, through the planets, and through humanity. What is a ray? The seven rays are the sum total of the divine consciousness. They embody divine purpose, express the qualities required for the materializing of that purpose. And they create the forms and are the forms through which the divine idea can be carried forward to completion. The seven ray beings are fully conscious and aware of the purpose and of the divine plan. Every ray produces three major patterns. These three major patterns are imposed upon the form nature, whether it be that of a planet a nation or a man. These three patterns are the soul pattern, which is the predisposing and spiritual goal, the mental pattern, and the emotional pattern. These patterns manifest our virtues and vices in human beings. Today, we will talk more specifically about the second tree of love wisdom. It must be remembered that the dominating ray, the outstanding influence in our solar system is the great cosmic ray of love and wisdom. This is a dual ray which means it's a ray that is combining two great cosmic principles and energies. The first great cosmic principle is the principle of love, which is the soul ray of our solar logos, and the wisdom, which is its personality ray. Because these two rays are now perfectly blended and balanced, 
from the angle of humanity, they constitute, in fact, one great ray. This major ray determines both its quality and its purpose. Every unit of life and every form in manifestation in our solar system is governed through this second ray. Basically speaking, the energy of love expressed with wisdom is the line of least resistance for all the manifested lives in our solar system. Here are some characteristics of Ray 2 as they manifest in a human being. And these are taken from the book of Alice Bailey, Esoteric Psychology, Volume 1, page 202. The special virtues of the Ray 2. Calm, strength, patience, and endurance. Love of truth, faithfulness, intuition, clear intelligence, and serene temper. The vices of Ritu, over absorption in study, coldness, indifference to others, Contempt of mental limitations of others. The virtues to be acquired are love, compassion, unselfishness, and energy. <clears throat> this is called the ray of wisdom from its characteristic desire for pure knowledge and for absolute truth. He is cold and selfish if without love and inactive without power. When both power and love are present, then they have the ray of the Buddhas and of all the great teachers of humanity. Those who having attained wisdom for the sake of others, spend themselves in giving it forth. The student on this ray is ever unsatisfied with his highest attainments, no matter how great his knowledge. His, with his mind is still fixed on the unknown, the beyond, and on the heights as yet unscaled. The secondary man will have tact and foresight. He will make an excellent ambassador and a first-rate teacher or head of a college. As a man of affairs, he will have clear intelligence and wisdom in dealing with matters which come before him and he will have the capacity of impressing true views of things on others and of making them see things as he does. He will make a good businessman if modified by the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh rays. The soldier on this ray would plan wisely and foresee possibilities. He would have an intuition for the best course to pursue, and he would never lead his man into danger through rashness. He might be deficient in rapidity of action and energy. The artist on this ray will always seek to teach through his art, and his pictures would have a meaning. His literary work would always be instructive. The method of healing for the secondary individual would be to learn thoroughly the temperament of the patient, as well as to be thoroughly conversant with the nature of the disease, 
so as to use his willpower on the cause on the case to the best advantage. The characteristic method of approaching the spiritual path would be by close and earnest study of the teachings until they become so much a part of man's consciousness as no longer to be merely intellectual knowledge, but a spiritual rule of living thus bringing in intuition and through wisdom. A bad type of the secondary would be bent on acquiring knowledge for himself alone, indifferent to the human needs of others. The foresight of such a man would degenerate into suspicion, his kindness into coldness and harshness of nature. Now we will meditate. It will be a silent meditation on the energies of the secondary of love wisdom.
the great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men. The purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the rays of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Ooh.